Welcome to today's gamer service announcement. <laughs> Before we get into the video, I want to stress I have nothing at stake here. Uh, this is, I have, Warlord hasn't given me a thing. Uh, this is entirely a gamer talking about his game and a thing, something he found that I think is a, I want to share with the community. It's a cool idea, cool, cool product anyway. Uh, this is this is more than a product review, really. It's a cool. I found this. I think this is a great deal, guys. Warlord is not sponsoring this. I'm getting nothing for this video. This is nothing to do with. They don't even know I'm recording this. Okay. <laughs> All right. So stick around and let's go. Let's take a look at the Battlefield accessories box. Alright, like I said, I've got nothing to do with Warlord in this. But, a friend of mine got this Battlefield Accessories kit, and it was less, it's, I think it's less than 20 bucks, uh, I know on the War, Warlord site, it's less than 20 bucks US. And looking at what you get, I think this is a fantastic deal. Let's take a quick look at what's inside, and maybe you guys will see the same thing I do, okay? Alright, let's take a look. So, okay, so besides, you know, cool looking inspirational art on the front uh, kind of showing you how you could use it let's take a look what's on the back really okay this is the daunting part <laughs> 44 individual sandbags still individual sandbags I mean you can actually provide yourself with a couple different fortifications uh, I like that possibility oh uh, you get a couple different uh, signposts that are available uh, some telephone poles and then some more signage as well as tank traps and other details. So let's take a look. We're going to go ahead and open the box. Oh, on the back, they actually give you kind of the here's how you build it kind of thing. And there's a whole, I won't call it a decal sheet, but a artwork sheet in there too. So let's just pull it all out. Okay. So, <clears throat> you don't need that. Uh, there it is. There it is. Oh, it is. Looks like it is a decal sheet. Ah, yes, it, it is a decal sheet. That kind of makes sense. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, because you're putting them on actual signs. Let's open this up. Alright, so you get two sprues. Uh, they are not identical. They're two different sprues. This one has uh, a lot of the, the the tank, I guess, dragon teeth kind of things. Um... Uh, Wow, I didn't even see those on the, the actual uh, I didn't see those on the actual uh, box. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, well, anyway, there's telephone poles. Here's your sandbags. Not all of them. Just a lot of them. There's a couple other sandbags. Oh, no, that is all of them. Okay. So, yeah. 44 sandbags. Signposts. Thing is, you you get seven of these little pointy arrow things and a whole bunch of sign uh, signpost type things you can use on here. There's the telephone pole tops. Uh, there's a huge signpost right there. Give me, I'm going to grab a figure real quick and we'll show you kind of the scale here. Alright, so here's a medium machine gun team. Just kind of put them right there. So that's a pretty tall signpost. Uh, he's, he's kneeling. So it's like this is a the height of a model. So he's he's pretty large, and it looks like you got a few large, you know, slow <laughs> Purple Heart Avenue <laughs> uh, road cleared of mines to edges. So a few large signs that you could put on there. You're entering combat zone. So close hatches. Load weapons. Um, yeah, so that's that's pretty good. Uh, now you only have two signposts. And on those two signposts, you put you've got seven small and two four large, uh, you know, placards showing you what directions what, and you have plenty of decals for those. So you can actually put you can put decals on all of them, literally all of them. There's there's all the decals for all uh, eleven arrows, but there's only two of these. So thinking about you can. If you don't mind using, you know, other glues instead of just your super glue or whatever, you can get uh, you can get wood uh, wood sticks, uh, dowels, and sh you know sh 
rough them up a bit and make a couple more signposts and you'll be able to use all these uh, markers. I think that's really good. Now one thing that's interesting in the uh, in the kit you have all of these are wood cross beams and these are used to make uh, a couple different versions of the or sorry a couple different uh, quite a few different I think this is, this is supposed, to be, supposed to be five of these dragon teeth looking things but they're not they're there to support the barbed wire okay because uh, you're going to use six of them per so there's going to be 30 of those there and so that's to support barbed wire which is not too bad you do get a bunch of barbed wire in there so that's a that's an, a possibility now here though you've got your uh, well dragon teeth I has, they're not dragon teeth what's interesting is they've got the cap the angle cap number 10 and the way it looks here the way you build it is that that is the central it's hard to see on the actual model itself but you put that in the center and then each of the three legs that's how you get your check hedgehogs built and those are those are steel girders looking things uh, are those I-beams? Yeah, those are shaped like I-beams. So you get five of those. So that's not bad. And as a length, they're just over six feet, it looks like, which is actually pretty close. Um, by the time you put them on an angle, that's about right. So they'll look small compared to what you're probably normally expecting, but they, they look reasonable. The Czech hedgehogs aren't that big. They just need to be able to keep a tank from getting its tracks on the ground. They're designed to kind of get underneath the tank and lift it up so that the tracks aren't engaging. That's how they work. So for 20 bucks, you get a lot of stuff. I think it's actually, especially the signage and you know crates and fuel, these are great for objective markers, the crates and fuel. And it, honestly, you can use a signpost on a, a small base as an objective marker you know the crossroads if you will is the objective right so you can use that now telegraph poles not such a big deal most of the time but it is a nice scenic element to add uh, it is something that will probably get in the way but I know I've seen a lot of people who are wanting to do uh, telegraph poles in some of their uh, on their scenery for some of the tabletops so all right so I thought it you know I'd share this with you guys at 20 bucks you get quite a bit of I guess terrain enhancing uh, details and with this uh, barbed wire all you need is a six by six and you can probably get see uh, this is two meters this is six over six feet you can get an awful lot of uh, barbed wire emplacements done so you consider there's six by six by six that's so two feet you can probably get three uh, or at least two uh, barbed wire enclosed minefields uh, marked off with this. Of course you could also just use, and actually to be honest, that's what these stakes can also be used for. These can be honestly cut in a little bit shorter, planted into uh, a base, and these you can string the barbed wire along these to make kind of a minefield uh, marker. So you don't have to use them for just what's in the box. There's a lot of other possibilities. So. I think definitely want to get some more of these. But again, gamer service announcement. I'm not suggesting this is uh, like the be all end all, but I really am impressed with it. I think, you guys, it's probably something that's overlooked. You might not see it uh, when you first look at the uh, website. But if you happen to run across this, definitely pick it up. It's going to definitely add some opportunities for you, especially like the demolitions objective. What better than destroying, you know, your opponent's ammo supplies or fuel reserve right that there's a lot of possibility there alrighty so uh, <laughs> I hope that was a beneficial review or I hesitate to call it a review because they're, they're not built yet but I still think it's uh, a valuable thing to to add to your list of models to build so alright <laughs> alright with that I think we've talked about it enough thanks a lot guys share like subscribe and we'll see you in whatever the next video is <laughs> bye bye